Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Batman has returned to flex his new whip to the civilians of Gotham City. Let's go to that right now. To you, Shelly. Thank you, Brady. You've arrived at your destination. Hey, ladies. Okay, calm down now, people. Excuse me, Batman. Any updates on the Riddler? Oh, yeah. I kicked his butt yesterday. Oh, let me get a photo real quick. Oh, yeah. How about this? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So, as you should all know by now, I read the comment section, and one of you wanted me to make cars. So, today, we're gonna be looking at three cars, but these are not ordinary cars. These are cars that you use to flex. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I just want to mention real quick, but the holiday series is still going on right now. I've collaborated with several other YouTubers who are making daily videos from now until Christmas. Check out the playlist in my description for some really cool builds, including this one from Cowie's Creations. Now, I recently watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a very good movie, by the way, and I wanted to make the iconic car from the movie. So, this is a 1960s Ferrari GT California Spider. Modena. Wow. And I feel bad for the people who own this car because you're gonna have to be saying that every 10 seconds when someone asks you what car this is. If I were Eddie Murphy from A Thousand Words, I would probably be dead in the first 10 minutes. Now, I know I'm going off right now, but just because a car has a long name doesn't mean it's going to be cool. However, this Ferrari is a real exception. Yep, I love the design of this one. It's not a stereotypical modern Ferrari that you would see in, like, Jake Paul's Everyday Bro music video. It's got a classic kick to it. It. Making this in red was almost a must, and it's got all the distinguishing features like the rounded grille on the front, the hood scoop, just the overall round, smooth, classic design, all that jazz. Now, after listening to Post Malone's song, Wow, I heard the lyrics, G-Wagon, G-Wagon, so that sparked the idea for me to make this very luxurious looking SUV vehicle. This is a Mercedes-Benz G-Class, um, as that's the more formal name. I would say this is almost like a very military looking car. If I remember, I think this actually originally used to be a military vehicle. So it's got like an off-roady, very tough, aggressive look. And I wanted to make sure I carried all of those features to this actual car in Lego. So adding the little guard on the front of the car with the round headlights, the turn signals on the hood, just including all the features that a normal car would actually need. And it's also got some big off-roady tires. I did go to Beverly Hills last summer and I swear I saw so many of these cars driving around town. And lastly, here's a very modern sport car that a lot of people love. Personally, I'm not really like an Audi person, I'm more of a Japanese car guy, but here's an Audi R8. I looked it up and the base model for these costs around $150,000, which is equivalent to the price of 33,333 10-piece chicken nugget packs. I'm talking about chicken nuggets for life, baby. In return for that lifetime supply, you can get this clean looking whip that will guarantee you to score a beautiful wife before you even graduate college. Yep, that's right. These cars have around 600 horsepower and can go 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Audi, if you're watching this video, I hope you sponsor me because I just literally was a free advertisement for you. But anyway, it's a very roundish car and Lego's very blocky, so this was a challenge for me. But I included all the big features like the side air vent so this car can uh, get cool air to the rear engine. I wanted to make sure I got all the small details to look right, like the headlights, all the front and back details. They were all sort of complicated, but I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It's probably my favorite car of the three. But, okay, what's your favorite car? Comment down below right now. Also, comment down below what video you want to see next, and also comment what car you want to see next, because I want to do more car videos. I actually learned a lot. Your comment might just become the next video idea. I have to say thank you for 10k followers on TikTok. Thank you to all the supporters on TikTok. Let's keep it up, and hopefully we can get 50k, because that's, I would say that's my next goal. Thank you for watching everybody and keep on building. Stay spicy. Get ready to rock and roll. Like and subscribe.